Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video about my 3D Delta printer. Today I will show you uh, one upgrade I did on the heated bed. I added the neodymium magnets into the aluminium uh, build plate and I will show you how I did it. So this is how my build plate looks now. All of the details about uh, how I did it, about the magnets I'm using, uh, I will tell you now. So the magnets I'm using are neodymium magnets. Uh, they're resistant. To, they're not losing the magnetizing until they go over 150 degrees. So. They're a little bit more expensive than just a regular one, but if you want to have them last long, you need to get the better ones. So there is 25 magnets, they're 10 millimeters in diameter and they're 2 millimeters thick. So the build plate is thick, 6 millimeter. So I drilled the, the smaller hole first, which was 3 millimeter. I drill it deep for four millimeter just to to send to get a center for bigger drill, and then after that I drill 2.1 millimeters deep with 10.2 millimeter drill, and let's show you how I did it.
So now when we have uh, the build plate uh, finished with uh, added new D new magnets in, this is what we can use now. At the moment I only have the square spring steel sheet. Look how this is look how strong these magnets are. This is pulling the spring steel sheet down. And it's pretty hard to lift it up. This is what I want. I want to use the pay sheet. Or wait a second, I will show you something. Or if I want to use the build tag, as you can see, this is build tag. I put that on the spring steel sheet as well. That's what I'm using when I'm printing the ABS. This is perfect for this because the ABS sticks very well to the build tag. <laughs> Sometimes even more than very well. That it's very hard to take it off. So you, when you're printing on build tag, you really need to be careful with the with the offset of the nozzle from the build platform. If you are too close, you're probably going to take off the the build tech off your spring steel sheet or just gonna deform it and then after that you can use it properly. So this is one great addition of I need to get the round spring steel sheet because these magnets are so strong it's so hard to take it out. So this is it if you want to get the spring sheet to use on your build platform and you don't want to use the transfer of lose the transfer of the heat from the build platform to your printed part. From my perspective, this is the best solution to do it. To drill the the, pla the aluminium and to put the magnets in. Otherwise, if you just want to go with a cheaper version and easier, you can buy the magnet magnet sheet, stick it on your build platform, and uh, the same but like the magnet sheet it's acting like an insulator so it's transferring the heat a bit slower than the build platform we did. Anyway this is what I wanted I finish it and I'm very happy how, how it works So guys, this is one great upgrade for me, from someone who's maybe not, someone maybe prefer to use the PVA glue, but for me this is great, as uh, after the print is finished you can just take the print off, bend the spring steel sheet, take the printer off, print quickly off, put the spring steel sheet back uh, to the printer and resume with the new print, as you don't need to wait for the print vat to cool down so you can take off your print, you just take off the spring steel sheet wait like a half minute minute just a little bit to cool down the spring steel sheet a little bit and then you can pop off your print and print resume with a new print so i don't have anything else to say about this as i said this is one very very good upgrade for me uh, if you want it you can do it yourself it's not as hard it's pretty easy and uh, what to say stay tuned stay safe if you didn't subscribe to my channel there's gonna be more and more upgrades about the delta printer and see you soon thanks for watching